Do you think a believer can go to hellfire? A believer can go to hellfire. Okay. A believer mm -hmm. cannot go cannot go to hellfire. Why do you think so? Here is here comes my reasons. You know, the Bible says in the book of John chapter number three verse six. Uh, mm. for, for ye that born of the spirit is a spirit, and spirit. for ye that born of the flesh is flesh. flesh. Is flesh. Right. And then a believer is, I can say this, define born again, being born again. A believer is a born again, not a Christian. A Christian can go to hellfire if you are not a believer. You understand? If you are not a confirmed believer or a born again. You understand? So by being born again, by being carried the gratification that belongs to uh, uh, Jesus, then you are qualified to go to heaven, not hellfire. You understand? So, and it's all by... It's, it's your heart is pure, and then you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. You believe that somebody died for you. You know, the man Jesus, he laid down his life. He was wounded for our transgressions bruised for our iniquity. Mm. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. So by his tribe we are healed and then if you accept it and you follow his principle, then you... What if you accept him and do not follow his principle but you are believing him? If you accept him, there is no reason that you accept, some, you accept something and you will not, have, you will not believe in mm. the very particular thing. So if you accept him, you must believe him. You understand? So what you are saying, yes. basically, yes. a believer cannot go to hellfire. A believer cannot go to hellfire if I can hmm. tell the truth. My apostle is here. Okay. Yeah. How a about believer, what is your A believer view? cannot go to hellfire if only he continues. Yes. The book of John chapter 8, verse 31, to read from 31 to 32, the Bible says, Then said Jesus unto those Jews which believe on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Verse 32 now said, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So let me explain from verse 31. What does it mean to continue? If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed? Remember, Jesus Christ said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And uh, love you, the God, love, love God with the whole of your heart. And, you know, he says you should study the scripture, study the Bible. But then you and think it, you are wise. Yeah, yeah. So, and you should pray with all season. Are you with me? Mm. I pray with us this So these are the words of Jesus Christ. In fact, he said he commanded us to go into the world and preach the gospel and to Matthew teach them to you know yeah five. to thank you sir to you know to teach them to know all things, know all parts of the things. So he said if you continue, not only that he said we should cast out demons, mm -hmm. you know, if we should heal, you know, the sick, and and that's why he said in Matthew chapter ten verse one. He said that when Jesus had called unto him his, ten, his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirit to do what? To cast them out and to heal all manner of disease mm. and all manner of sicknesses. So if you continue obeying the word of God, his commandments, and all that, when the rapture shall come, you, will be, you shall be there. But if we do not continue as a believer, as a pastor, as a general overseer, if we do not continue, then if the rapture takes place at that time, you are you can be found ahead. To brainstorm you much, you know, there are some things and some other spikes that you have to understand as a child of God, not you call on, not people that call on the name Jesus, Jesus shall enter into the kingdom of God. No. If you are truly confirmed, the Spirit of God testify, be a witness that you are a real born again, then we have born again, we have born to do it again, but if you are born again enough, really, with full with the Holy Spirit, mm. because the Bible says, the Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 that we should walk in the spirit so that we cannot gratify the desires of the flesh. That's one of the signs. You must manifest the fruit of the spirit according to the book of Galatians chapter number 2 again, verse 22. Hmm. You step down uh, the fruit of the spirit, you can mention one. Hmm. One is Faith, what? Love. Yes. Joy. And and thank you, my apostle. Long you know, so, long suffering. Peace. If, if, if you can manifest and the, and the such, then you are confirmed upon again. Hmm. Born again is not by going to church, not believer is not by going to church. Thank again, you so much. Thank stuff. you so much. I really, you really enjoyed my time with you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
simple question. Do you think a believer can go to hell fire, sir? <laughs> it's a big question. A very big question, really. Uh, believer, mm. that someone that believes in God, yes. in Jesus in Christ. Jesus Christ, yes. And someone that believes in Jesus Christ that's not doing the will of God will not see the kingdom of God. Okay. Are you getting my point? You are a believer, mm -hmm. you know for the rules and regulation of uh, Christian life. Okay. I don't think you can meet up to the kingdom of God. But God is a superior. God is a spirit that loves yeah. good people. Definitely. I am a Christian. Wow. I am a believer. I love so I like that. to check myself before I I'll remove something that is in my eye before your own eye. Mm. So definitely I, I used to fight and struggle to make sure say that a little bit let my good be mm. more than your bad my so bad. that you will enter heaven. You know that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I will not uh, but we used to tell her that uh, we all have seen a short called the glory of God. Nobody is righteous. Mm -hmm. That one day. And the other one is we must follow. We must try our best. And uh, we must try our best. Because uh, <laughs> we all are born in sin. From, right from our mother's womb. Definitely. Nobody will tell you that he's the highest, uh, he's a superior, he's alive. But what you do, try your best. Mm. And try our best. That's why Jesus Christ came and Jesus Christ died for us to live. Okay. And to see around as we're talking now. Are asking me this question, Jesus Christ is here with me. And Definitely. So let's just so, try the best. So um, how did we gain this salvation? Salvation is by from our minds. Okay. Become our conscience. And you and we read the Bible. Hmm? The Bible cannot lie. Yeah, sure. From what we're seeing in the Bible, it's not, it's not everybody that believes in the Bible. A lot of people believe in any half life. And uh, since you come and tell me say he's a Muslim, since you come and come tell me say he's a Christian, since you come and say he's a Habat, since you come and tell me say he's a Oboni, since you come and say he's a Yeh, since you come and say he's a Oboni, but I still believe in that Jesus Christ. That's what keeps me alive today. The Son you, of Almighty God. I really, so that really is appreciate how it. I have the lineage. So anybody telling me, blah, 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 I say, I beg, go and sleep. I know where I'm going to, I know who I'm serving, I know how he used to treat me. I know what he's doing for me. See me alive today, Jesus Christ. Definitely. I don't get any power. This is where I walk. You can see me carrying cone. And I walk, I don't come. Yesterday, I don't know what I do. I can't meet up yesterday. But management will be looking at me. But I know of God what is supporting Thank you so much for your time. God bless you, sir. I really appreciate you. All right.